Last night, members of the Committee to Stop Children's Murders held a closed-door meeting to decide on a formal reaction to FBI allegations of some parents' responsibility in the murders. Today, victim Curtis Walker's mother told me such talk was nothing new. She says police repeatedly accused her of killing her son. What they was trying to say, that I had something to do with it. But I told them they was a damn lie, because I ain't killed my child. And they kept saying, they're going to try to make me say that my child was a street kid, a hustler, or a runaway. And I told them to get the hell out of my house and don't come back. Venus Taylor, though, says agents only talked to her twice, and she says she was not made to feel like a suspect. And what did they say at the end of the interview? That, that you were cleared? They went, it wasn't a question of me being cleared. I don't have to worry about being cleared or not. I know God knows and everybody else knows. There ain't nobody around me to even know me. I guess even my worst enemy can say that I could do anything to my own child. Camille Bell, making the formal statement for her committee to stop children's murders, said the group has sent a letter to FBI Director Webster saying his remarks were untrue and demanding an apology if no arrests are made in the next 24 hours. She called the situation a circus and accused authorities of playing games. Usually after they get a chance to work through that and find out whether the parents are in fact people that could have done it or didn't do it, um, then either an arrest is made immediately or um, they go on to find other suspects. This is April of 1981. Youssef was killed in November of 1979. Um, immediately to me is a little sooner than that. And she says other parents she's talked to feel the same way. Basically, the, the general feeling is if they think I kill my child, tell them to come get me. Mrs. Bell says she has no idea why the FBI made the statements in the first uh, place no Commissioner or Brown why Commissioner not, Lee Brown did not deny they were true. Hank Phillippe, Action News.